Hello, my student viewing Elimu channel. I welcome you once again to Organic Chemistry lesson where we are looking at hydrocarbons. Uh, this is lesson three. We have introduced ourselves to alkanes already and we know the first 10 members. So today we are going to look at, uh, we are going to advance from there and uh, do pay attention. Uh, what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, uh, you'll be able to, number one, you'll be able to tell us what is an isomer, state the type of isomerism in alkanes, and finally, you'll be able to name the standard name given to members of alkanes. So, what is an isomer? For us to understand that, let's look at the following diagram uh, or uh, with reference to a member of alkane, number four, butane having four carbon atoms and the four carbon atoms are bonded covariantly to hydrogen atoms and uh, that is the first kind of structure that we can draw from the scratch that is four carbon atoms bonded covariantly to 10 hydrogen atoms uh, this diagram can, can as well as be drawn by arranging the carbon atoms the three of them in line and ensuring that the fourth one creates a branch or is positioned at the middle or at the second carbon ensuring that uh, in essence we have four carbon atoms but the arrangement within the structure is not as the previous diagram as you can see from our illustration and when we uh, substitute each of these carbon open carbon bonds with hydrogen the number of hydrogen atoms still remains to be 10 so looking at the molecular formula of the both structures you can see that we have in each structure we have four carbon and and uh, 10 hydrogen atoms that is they have the same uh, molecular formula but they have a different structural formula compounds that have c that kind of uh, 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 relation same molecular formula but different uh, structural formula are the ones which we refer to as isomers so alkanes have what we call branching isomerism so what is an isomer or isomerism compounds having the same structure uh, molecular formula but different structural formula so how do we name isomers naming of isomers or naming in alkanes we also refer to it as nomenclature we assign rules there are rules that we use to assign names to uh, to help us in naming these isomers or these compounds so rule number one is to count the wrongest continuous carbon chain and that will give us the parent name so if they are three the longest carbon chain therefore the parent name becomes propane if they are four uh, parent name becomes uh, butane so that is rule number one count the longest continuous carbon chain which will give you the parent name rule number two number the carbon atoms from the end closest to the branch and this gives the substituent or the branch of the lowest number so we need to number the carbon atoms from which end? The end closest to the branch. So that gives us the substituent group or branch having the lowest number. Rule number three, similar substituent groups are indicated by the prefixes di, tri, tetra, and commas are used to separate them. We are going to use these rules to be able to name the following organic compound, alkane, uh, by answering uh, or by trying to draw and name the possible isomers of pentane. Pentane, five carbon atoms uh, with the molecular formula from the general formula C5H12. Uh, five carbon atoms in that chain bonded to give us a chain and each of these carbon atoms remember they are saturated having the maximum number of hydrogen possible so covariantly bonded to the carbon atoms there we have our first structure in addition to that we can as well as draw a different structure with five carbon atoms and 12 hydrogen atoms so first we eliminate the 
the, the carbon which is at the end, the far end here. So we draw four carbon atoms bonded covariantly to each other. And then the last, the carbon which was the fifth carbon, if we count them from this end, we position that carbon at carbon number two, all carbon number three, as shown in the diagram. So we have five carbon atoms covariantly bonded to one another and if we substitute or uh, the open bonds the open bonds of carbon if we bond them covariantly to hydrogen this gives us what uh, the same same uh, number of hydrogen atoms 12 hydrogen atoms so we have two different structures having the same molecular formula so those are two isomers of pentane what about the name pentane and Name number two, uh, two methyl butane. We will assign this name to, uh, uh, we'll use the rules to assign the name. But we can as well as have a, 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 an isomer, the, fourth, uh, the, the third one. Pentane has three isomers, three carbon atoms, and we may have the third carbon bonded to the second carbon and the fifth carbon can as well as be bonded to the second carbon so giving us a total of five carbon atoms which are covariantly bonded to one another and when we substitute the open bonds of carbon with hydrogen that gives us a structure that the one we, like the one we have here so how do we name this isomer rule number one the longest continuous carbon chain from whichever end this may be one two three or from this end one two three from this end one two three so from whichever end we count the longest carbon chain has three atoms hence the parent name becomes propane then we, uh, we number the carbon atoms from the end closest to the branch from whichever end in this diagram we have a uh, carbon number two having a branch so this type of branch we have to identify uh, the branch contains a single carbon hence the name methyl because we have one carbon uh, branch in each of these two branches so we, sh we should show the position of this branch so it is in carbon number two and the second branch is also in carbon number two hence the name 2,2-dimethylpropane and that gives us the uh, standard name of this compound which is the third isomer of pentane uh, what about uh, what about other structures what if we bond to the same same carbon or to the same same structure of uh, pentane we may find other substituent atoms bonded to the structure for instance chlorine if we substitute one of the hydrogen as shown in the diagram with chlorine atom how do we name the compound these atoms are given the first priority and they are uh, we number the carbon atoms from their end hence the name uh, first we get the parent name which is propane uh, the branch which is a methyl and the position of the branch since they are two is one two dimethylpropane but we have chlorine in the first atom which is abbreviated as one chloro two methyl dimethylpropane and there we have the standard name of this compound so did we get the concept of this lesson uh, we can try to answer the following question what is an isomer identify the different types of isomerism or isomers in uh, alkane then the last question draw and name all the possible isomers of heptane you can as well as refer this in chemistry student book 3 uh, as well as patel and you can as well as follow us or send us an sms uh, through the uh, the mess the the line on your screen you can visit us through youtube or facebook at erimu tv and you can as well as give us a tweet at erimu tv underscore ke i'm your tutor once again mr Mongi francis thank you for watching and do pay attention for the reason that proceeds thank you